Yes, Talex J Engineering. And today we are looking at this guy. So this guy is failing to break down. And in addition to that, the hub is heating up. So when the hub heats up, automatically there is a problem in that brake pad. However much I've not opened it fully, but I can tell we are going to find either a spring out or some part broken, which is causing uniform brake. Even if you have not applied the brake, but the pad is already breaking themselves. So we are going either to find them broken or one spring off uh, like so but please observe my tricks as i'm opening up because if you don't have these tricks sometimes they will challenge you however if you combine spanners you get some where to go i have this video with tricks over spanners and i'll give you that link at the end of this show okay now when we move further here you find that this bolt rotates so you put in a 4 millimeter 14 millimeter fixed ring this way to prevent it from rotating okay you see so when i open here it will rotate right and then it gets locked up up there and then when it gets locked then this way where i'm opening it will be like it is tight and then the bolt will go off easily like so now with this break replacement you don't have to suffer a lot because everything is put in place just fix back your bolt a little and then tap the bolt don't tap the because when you tap the uh, the screws you may damage them but when you tap the, the bolt the bolt will be somewhere okay and you also emphasize not to tap it off or to go by means. And then you pull it off also from this way. You can either use an, a spanner or even if you don't apply this spanner as I'm doing here, you can easily pull it by hand. Okay. So the guardian pin gets off. Once the guardian pin gets off, that means there is already room for this brake alignment pad to get out like so. Now, after removing this brake, we are going to look at what was the cause of the problem. And uh, since we are all together, don't just equate before you find out the cause. Was I correct or wrong? We are going to find out now today. Mm, the brake looks okay. It has just worn out. Mm, okay, let me get it out completely. And then we discuss about it. Okay. Yeah, I was correct. You see here, you see, so the brake shoes were totally broken. I don't know what caused this, and I'm going to try to find out from the interior hub to see where this come from, because it is not something easy to break this thing, because they are all always in a line, unless uh, somebody who repaired it before he poorly aligned these brakes so now let me go and remove them and fix the new ones because I, it's quite hard to tell what was the problem over but now here during fitting fitting in you just have to make sure that the springs remain in and you fix one side perfect like so then the next side is just forced to go in here you can use your hands if you have enough energy you can use a puller if you have it you can use a a, a flat strong one uh, but with my videos i always show you what you can use besides the expensive machines now take a look i'm going to fix it with this flat screwdriver other than either a puller which is worth some uniform amount of dollars and then you fail just because of something of that kind. Now here, you just push it until it goes in while holding it tight with your hand because they should not jump off. These are springs. In case they jump off, you force a problem. It goes there. 
then even inside up here after fitting the pin down then you come and fit on the knob the knob will also observe the same procedure but you you don't have to allow these screw these springs to jump off please my dear and when you're fitting these things endeavor to have gloves on your eyes just because of you don't know what will come in during this process okay so after fitting in here i'm going to oil a little bit just because uh i want it free i don't want the client to complain over that no my brakes is hard to press you see it is quite hard when i'm pulling by hand now what will happen when he, the rider is stepping by a foot so to prevent that or we just have to put in some oil here and uh, this is how this brake works when you pull the other inner shoes expand outwards and uh, as you're pulling here for them inside here they expand you see when they expand they force this shoe this brake pad shoe this brake pad aligners to go up and find the interior hub of the wheel let's take a look here where it goes up so that that is the black chunk over in and uh, that is where the brake pads expand towards too so when they expand towards these walls where i've touched the rear wheel breaks and then you may even add up the front wheel to eventually come to zero but even if you only have this <coughs> rear brake sorry you will effectively break down so after i told you i was i'm going to oil it here and it is now the deal i'm on but uh, don't worry where to get oil even if you don't have oil there just open the top up knob and use it to oil because it is it goes in directly to the oil and it shows you the oil level so once you dip it in that's what i'm even using here <laughs> so don't think i'm deceiving you know and don't forget to subscribe to talex engineering for more videos across all parts that should be fixed and uh, even if you have any challenges somewhere you can just comment on my any of the video asking what you want to fix i'll bring you that video i, I may be on my program the last video but uh, when i find out that somebody need of it i make it soon or effectively for someone because of that request at no pay please yeah cool and uh, then <clears throat> when you're oiling up here sorry you don't need to put in um, a lot of oil because when these oils go in and stick to the inner hub or on our brake pads uh then effectively the brakes brakes won't work so put a little oil to just enable the most pedaling and then fix your brakes in so how this is how they are in and this is how they pull you see when I'm pulling here, even the wheel tries to wibble. Just because we don't have the nuts in and the screw across. I put back the hub alignment rod and then put in the garden pin. This pin separates the hub from the frame, the rear frame. And gives you enough room to remove those part after removing it because for it it is easy to be removed and then you pull your bolt back and it will cut across and adjust this adjuster for the bolt to go through then before you put the nut you have to put the washer then i'm going to leave this side closed or locked up with my 14 spanner and i turn this way to lock it up 
yeah that's how this thing works and uh if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so let's put back the break because this is what we aimed at first so putting in the break is quite easy just put everything back as they were during this mantling okay and the endeavor not to leave out some parts like if you leave out this spring the outbreak won't return effectively however how much we have the other inner springs but even these exterior springs help to add on in other in order the break to return easily so since these pads in are new you don't need to tie a lot here just take it a little bit and then leave because we don't want it even to jump off checking the brake is okay see take down the pedal perfect okay yeah thanks for watching and next time to turn in on talix engineering